place in 2016 and we begin in Moscow, Russia with a 27 year old woman named Anna Ripkina. Anna was described as beautiful both inside and out. She was very intelligent. She loved to travel. She worked Ikea, and she loved cats. She was from a strong Russian family, and it was her dream to get married and raise a family in, like, a similar way to how her parents had raised her. Anna had been in a relationship for seven years, and when that ended, she was heartbroken. So Anna Rebkina created a profile on a dating, on a Russian dating website, hoping to meet the man of her dreams. A few weeks later, she gets a message from 26-year-old Will Hargrove. Will worked as a mechanic, but he was an ex-marine stationed in Russia. He said, because of his time in Russia, he was very deeply rooted in Russian culture. Will liked to play pool, hang out with his friends. He was described as being like the life of the party. He was very charismatic and had a great personality. So what began as a few messages back and forth turned into an all-encompassing whirlwind romance. He showered Anna with praise and adoration. So he lived in the United States, but he would have flowers delivered to Anna in Russia. He was always there for her. He was very complimentary to her. He just paid attention to her. They began just chatting online, but soon they were um, just doing video chats. They had a lot in common. They liked the same music. They liked traveling. And they were always sending each other funny memes. The couple often expressed desires to be together. And within a few months, Anna was on a plane to Portland to spend the holidays of 2016 with her new love. Now, Will lived in Portland, Oregon, and Anna accidentally flew to Portland, Maine, um, but they got it figured out, and she arrives to Portland, Oregon. into because Will wasn't who he seemed to be. In fact, he wasn't even really single. Will had been having an affair with a woman named Michelle Chavez. So she was the other woman in what would soon become a love triangle. Will rented a room in the house where Michelle lived with her husband and two children. Michelle told 48 Hours that Will had this charisma about 
pressuring her to leave. Now, people have speculated that Will became jealous and frustrated because she was kind of stringing him along but not leaving her husband. And that's why he got on this dating website in the first place. Either way, though, he meets Anna. So Anna gets to Portland and stays in Will's room, right next to where his like girlfriend and her husband are sleeping. She stays there for ten days, and Will just kind of parades Anna around right in front of Michelle. He introduces Anna to Michelle. And Michelle can't really say anything because her husband has no idea that she's been cheating on him. By the end of this trip, Will and Anna were engaged. After the holidays, Anna flew back to Moscow and began getting ready to move to the United States. In the meantime, Will's engagement did not stop his relationship with Michelle. Seeing her, telling her he loved her, and so he's having this entire secret relationship while Anna is getting ready to uproot her entire life and move to a new country. By March of 2017, Anna was living in Portland and was busy planning her wedding, but Michelle could not handle her boyfriend and his fiance sharing a wall with her and her husband. So she tells them that they have to move out. So they go find an apartment in Corvallis. Then Will gives Anna an engagement ring and she's so excited. She like takes the picture and posts it on Facebook. And when Michelle sees this, she is shocked because Anna is wearing her wedding ring. So I guess Will uh, was just getting really frustrated that Michelle wasn't leaving her husband. And she basically took off her wedding ring and gave it to him as like a promise that she would end the marriage. So kind of like maybe a reverse promise ring. Anyway, so she gives her wedding ring to Will, and he gives it to Anna. When Michelle, like, tells Anna that that's her wedding ring, Will is like, Oh, Anna, I'm so sorry. Michelle is crazy. She's in love with me. This is not her wedding ring. Why would I have her wedding ring? This was my grandmother's ring, and I want you to have it. And the whole time this is going on, Michelle and Will are still seeing each other. On March 23rd, Anna was in her wedding dress, literally ready to say I do. The couple had planned a simple ceremony on the beach. They stopped at a local Walmart so they could pick up wedding bands and He's in Walmart. There's like security footage of him on the phone with Michelle. The couple drove to the Oregon coast where they had planned on exchanging vows. But when they arrived, the officiant wasn't there. So Will is like pacing back and forth. He's super angry. He's on the phone yelling. And he gets off the phone and says that the officiant is sick and can't come. But Will had never actually booked an officiant. And he hadn't even gotten a marriage license. Like this was all just another very elaborate lie. He was never planning on marrying her. On the way home from their wedding that didn't happen, they stopped at McDonald's. And there is security footage of this McDonald's that shows Anna sitting in the passenger side 
disgusting to me. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this case, and I'll see you soon.